Hey y'all, real quick, cause I have a meeting in like seven minutes, but I just wanted to release this quick word to y'all. Um, some prophetic voices ain't gonna like this cause it's gonna mess up their business plan, okay? But you do not have to purchase anointing oil from a prophetic voice, from a pastor, from an evangelist, from a whoever they wanna call themselves. You do not have to purchase anointing oil. You are capable of buying some olive oil and anointing that through God, okay? Through the power of God because the oil is anointed through God's power. We we can't anoint no oil. We're only the vessel, right? So God uses us as vessels to anoint others, which means to bless others, okay? To, to anoint just means to bless, to bestow a blessing upon. Let me give you all the exact definition so y'all can know like, I'm not tripping. Hold on. To anoint is to consecrate, to bless, to ordain, okay? To sanctify. God is the only one that can do all of these things, but he uses us to do it, right? So if I buy holy oil and I allow the power of the Holy Spirit to operate through me and I bless bestow a blessing upon that oil, okay? And the Lord's Holy Spirit is running through me, that's going to become some anointed oil, okay? Because God has anointed that oil. You guys are paying for anointing oil from prophetic voices, their subscription boxes, whatever they're trying to sell to you. Name one person in scripture that God sent to anoint someone with oil and the person was like, before I anoint you, you got to pay $9.99 and then I'll bestow this anointing oil upon you and you'll be made king. Nobody, okay? Nobody. You don't have to pay for anointing oil. The anointing is in your father. Now, face is itching. Holy Spirit. The anointing comes from God. The sanctification comes from God. The blessing comes from God. The ordaining comes from God. We are just vessels. And some of you have purchased oil from people, prophetic voices, okay? You've purchased oil from them, and that person is not even of God. So you don't pour this oil over you, your kids, whoever else every single morning, every single night, and you're wondering why stuff is going haywire in your life. Be careful, guys, of the doors that you open, okay? Take everybody back to God. Y'all hear me say all the time, take me back to God. Take every word I release back to God. But I bet you ain't gonna catch me selling you no anointing oil. The anointing comes from God, and it's free. You want an anointing? You want a blessing? Go to your father, you don't even need to pour oil on you. Go to your father. But if you want, there's nothing wrong with um, anointing oil. But be careful of the anointer of that oil and where it's coming from. When you go to visit churches, you shouldn't even let everybody lay hands on your head to pray or on your body to pray. I don't be let, if I don't know the pastor, you better not lay your hand on my head because I'm going to move my head. I don't know what you carry, sir. I don't know what you carry. I don't know what you speak it. It sounds like tongues, but I'm not a tongue interpreter. I don't know what you're saying. So I don't even let everybody lay hands on me. You guys have to be very careful what you allow into your house. And y'all better hear this spiritually. Your body is the temple of the Lord. Your body is his house. Be careful what you allow in that door. Some of y'all and my sister in Christ gave the perfect word. She said, I'm purging my subscription list today from YouTube. Some of y'all need to do a purging and go through the people you follow, okay? The people you listen to and really take them to God. And I keep telling you guys this. And some of them that he tells you to unsubscribe from, it may not be because they're false prophets. They may be from him, but he needs you to shut that door for this moment. He may be calling you into a place of consecration. He may tell you to shut off the whole YouTube. That's okay. But do a purging, guys. Because some of y'all have doors open and you're wondering why things aren't changing, but the darkness does not mix with the light. And you're crying to God, why is this happening? What's going on? You're the one that opened the door. 
Pay attention to who you're listening to, who you're purchasing stuff from, what it is. Does it make sense? Like literally sit with God and say, does this make sense? Why am I spending $30 on this anointing oil when I could buy some olive oil from Walmart and sit with God and pray over it and anoint it myself? A bottle of olive oil is like $2.99. You can anoint some baby oil and that oil be anointed. Some of y'all need to really shake the religious mindsets. And some of y'all are more faithful at putting on this oil other people that I'm blessed than you are when it comes to sitting with God yourself. Stop allowing everybody to anoint you <laughs> or to bless you. When God sent Samuel to anoint David, the oil didn't flow until it was positioned above the right person. When God sent Samuel to anoint David, Samuel had then went through all, all the sons. David was outside tending to the sheep, okay? The oil would not flow until the right person was underneath it. And y'all better hear that spiritually. The anointing don't flow unless it's with the right person. Okay, pay attention to what you're rubbing on your body, who you're listening to and what you're doing in this hour, because some of y'all are hindering your own blessings. Your doors are closing because you are closing them because of the associations that you're um, connected to. You shouldn't have to pay nobody for no blessing oil. You're capable of blessing the oil yourself through the power of the Holy Spirit. So somebody needed to hear this. I don't know who. Uh, some prophetic voice is going to be mad because this slow their business down. Try, read your scripture. The oil going to flow when the right person is underneath it. And the oil flows from heaven, from God, from his power. Some of y'all done allowed the wrong people to bless you with some anointing oil. And that blessing was not a blessing. Don't be deceived in this hour, y'all. All of y'all, many are called, but few are chosen. Okay? Before you were formed in your mother's womb, God ordained you as a prophet to the nations. Answer the call. You are capable of anointing some oil yourself through the power of God. You don't need to purchase nobody's subscription for a daily prophetic word. Prophecies are free. Y'all making a lot of people rich. Prophecies are free. When God told someone in scripture to go relay a message to someone, they didn't go to that person and say, God told me to give you this message, but $5.99 first, give me two shekels of gold, whatever they used back in the day. They didn't have to pay them people. God told them to speak a word and they spoke a word and it, that was it. Be careful who you're letting so-called anoint your life because a lot of y'all have doors open and y'all... <laughs> Do a purging, whoever this word is for. Do a purging. Allow God to just go throughout your life and tell you, yay, nay, yay, nay. Move it, close it, shut it, whatever. Because darkness does not operate with light, guys. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I'll probably be on to release a word later in which the word that I'm releasing later, I planned on releasing it earlier, but this was dropped in my spirit just based on something that um, I was talking to a sister in Christ about this morning. Be careful who you allow to anoint your house, okay? I love y'all. Have a blessed day.